My heart is overjoyed. My heart is overjoyed. I give God praise and thank him for my life, health, and my strength. The strength that I do have. I give him praise for that. I thank and praise God for being in the house of worship once again. I thank him for seeing everyone's face. I thank God because it feels like a long time that I... I was here last night to thank God, but it feels like a long time that I've seen most of your faces. So I thank God for being here. I give God praise for everything. I thank God for all of the saints of God that pray. Not they pray for my son. Give God praise, and I thank God, saints, because on that day in March, I oftentimes pray with my children before they go to school. And I thank and praise God on that particular day. It's good to have the Holy Ghost, number one, and it's good if you have a praying mother. Thank God for her, and I thank God for my mom, and my aunts, and my dad, everybody. I thank God for everybody. I want to go too long, but it's so much that God has done for me and my family. I think I praise God for that particular morning. It was me and my baby girl in the car, and I had already, Kevin already got on the bus, and I began to pray, and I just said, Lord, be in this day. When I heard Brother Reed say, this is the day, I oftentimes say that to the kids. They hear me say that. But on that particular morning, it was a new thing. If you have a Holy Ghost, you know when the urge to pray for something or someone. And I think we praise God's thanks on that particular morning. My son kept coming into my spirit real strong, and I said, Lord, I don't know what's going to happen on this day. And I, and I began to cry as though I had lost him. I began to weep and cry. And I said, Lord, be in this day. I don't know what this day is going to, what the, what the end going to be, but I feel something is coming, Lord. And I said, I need you to be in this day. This day, I need you to be in this day. And I said, be in this day. Hallelujah. And I said, Lord, protect my son. I don't know what's going to happen to him today. But I felt something was happening, going to happen. And I said, Lord, be with him on this day. And I give God praise. And I just could not rest from that, from that morning. And then when my husband called me, and he said, Heaven is not coming home from school. And I said, what's the problem? Who, Jesus? I thank you. Hallelujah. And the lady wouldn't give Kevin no information. <laughs> I said, well, that's his daddy. What's the problem? And she wouldn't give me no information. So my husband said that he's going to go to the school when he went to the school and I went to the hospital. And I began to pray on the phone and I said, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I don't know what's going on, but you are already at the school. Hallelujah. And I said, God, you are already there, Lord. I said, whatever it is, but I didn't care that the receptionist was on the phone. I began to pray as though I, I pray like I normally pray. The end. I prayed for my son. I didn't know my husband was my witness. And I think I praise God. I didn't know what the situation was going to be and what it entailed. But I prayed and I called my family and I FaceTimed them and they're my witnesses too. And I began to tell them, I don't know what's wrong. Something wrong with Kevin. And they began to pray. And I think I praise God. I wasn't able, that was around 2 something that afternoon. I wasn't able to see my son. It took them forever to get to the hospital. But I give God praise, thanks, because as I was waiting, I just only I could feel that peace. And the Lord reminded me that you prayed for him this morning. And I could feel the, the anxiety going down. And then as I began to feel anxiety going down, I just started thanking God. Oh, Him, but 
like on the ambulance. And when I saw him, I tried to hold myself together because I didn't want him to see me break down. And all that I saw, I can't even go into graphic detail, but it was a much that my heart couldn't take. And at that moment, I just went, when I saw him, I just, just kept mustering up. And I kept thinking about that prayer earlier that day. Lord, be in this day. Lord, I asked you to be in this day. I didn't know what this day was going to tell, but I asked you to be in this day, and you are already here. And I'm going to begin to that prayer that I prayed earlier this morning to continue to calm me down. And I think I praise God. My husband was standing by my son's bedside, and, you know, the amount of blood that my son lost is a blessing that he is yet there. Oh, Lord! Most of all, 
It's, I, I have so much thanks inside of me, and I thank and praise God for life on today. And not only my life, but the life of my son, and how God yet spared his life. Continue to pray for his strength and our Thank God for the testimony. Thank God for the testimony.